Hello everyone and welcome to Nail Miss Day 1. The first thing for this Christmas nail set I'm going to do is push back my cuticles. As you can see, I have a lot of cuticle growth. I haven't done my nails in a very long time. Next, I'm just going to go ahead and grab a small little cuticle ball bit with my new McCart e-file, which so far I've been really liking, but I'm just going to grab this and I'm going to put it up onto four RPMs and I'm going to start by just lifting this up. It feels so nice to have an e-file that is different than the one that I started off with. So I really liked this one. All I'm doing is I'm running that along my cuticles just to kind of lift them up. And I'm going to go in with a cuticle nipper now and nip away. Because I'm going to be doing my nails for 12 days straight, I am just going to grab a buffing block. Instead of taking the e-file with a mandrel bit and going over them, so I'm just taking a buffing block and I'm just going to gently take away the shine from my nails. And for today, I'm going to be using the Beatles Nail Tips and Glue Set for this nail set. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my sizes out and put them on my nails. If you do want a thorough tutorial plus review on the Beatles nail tips and glue set, I do have a couple of videos which I will leave um, somewhere on the screen for you to watch if you are interested. All right, everyone. So I have my nails shaped and filed. Next, I'm going to go into the nail design. Today's nail design is inspired by this one that's on the screen. And I'm so excited to recreate this one for our first Christmas video. The first thing I'm going to do is grab Khaki Rose from the D&D um, BC collection and I'm going to use this as my base. It's a really nice pink nude color which I'm obsessed with using when I'm doing any base. If you want a proper tutorial on how to actually apply the nails, I will leave some videos down in the description below of me talking through the whole process of actually applying the nails. But for these next few videos, I just really want to focus on nail art. And as you can see, I didn't really buff the tops of these nails again just because I'm focusing a lot more on the nail art part of the tutorial. Alright, so now I have all of the base color on. I'm actually obsessed with this base color, but because it is gel polished, once you cure it, it does have a tacky layer. And instead of me going on here with some matte top coat, I've just found that you can just take some alcohol with some lint-free wipe and wipe away that top sticky layer. And then this way, when we apply any gel polishes on top, they're not going to bleed and kind of spread and pool, which is a look we do not want. We want everything to look nice and crisp. So this just really helps. Um, I've just like doing it this way. And it saves an extra step of going in with some matte top coat. All right, y'all, so for my French, for the thumb as well as the pinky, I'm going to be using this crayon gel in pure white from Helen. I love these. I use them in almost all of my videos. They are always linked in my description below as well as how to purchase these if you are interested. They are very pigmented and great for nail art. I'm going to work on the pinky first and I want it to be quite a deep smile line. So maybe like about here and then we're going to do like a little line this way. And then we are then going to connect them all up. All 
Next, I'm just grabbing a brush. It's like a slanted brush like this. And I'm just going to blow that up with some of that white polish as well. And I am going to start filling that in. As you can see, this polish or this nail art gel is so pigmented. It is perfect for stuff like this. And then I love using a slanted brush because I can get right into the corners. Also, let's just ignore my other hand right now. It looks so bad, but we will fix that all up in the next video. As you can see, I'm trying to do them in one long stroke. That way it's not leaving any stroke marks. All right, next I'm gonna go on and do the middle finger, which is like this plaid Burberry inspired look. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this first, um, and then we will top coat all three of the nails, and then we will do the rest of this nail. So for this one, I like to just really put my hand on a sturdy surface and really load up my brush, making sure that it's completely full on all sides. And then I'm going to then just grab my brush and do one single stroke. So I'm just going to go ahead and cure it and make sure you cure this line before you go in with the other one. Now for the next line, I always find the horizontal line to be a lot more difficult. So I'm going to start with one end right here and do the same thing. Just hold my brush steady and do the line. And I find this a lot more difficult because there is that curve in the nail. Next, just taking that same brush, I'm just going to grab some black. Now, this is going to be, I think, a little bit more stressful because, again, it's black and, yeah. But we're going to take it one line at a time here, and I'm just going to do the straight up and down lines first. Oops. Okay, next, just taking the red. Next, I'm just going to take a little bit like of a chrome and put that right on the top. All right, and before I move on to rest of the nails, I am gonna go ahead and top coat all of them because for the next few designs, I am gonna need the nails to be already top coated just because I won't be able to go in afterwards to top coat them. So I'm just taking a top coat and this is just going to bring everything to life as well as just even everything out. All right, so now they've been top coated. Next, I'm gonna take the Kiara Sky Blinget gel and I'm going to put that right around here and I'm also going to put some on this finger as well and we are going to arrange some gems as the middle of our flower and that is way too much so I'm going to take some off okay and then for my gems, I'm going to be using these really pretty like bronzy gems I got off of Amazon a long time ago. And I'm going to use those as my middle parts. And then I'm going to go in with the tiny ones and I'm going to put these around.
For my flowers, I am going to be using some poly gel. I've never used poly gel for 3D flowers, but I've seen people use them and they work great and I think I'm just gonna have a lot more control over what I'm doing if I'm using poly gel just because I don't have to worry about it drying on me. I am also just going to be using an acrylic 3D brush. This is one from NSI and this is going to be the perfect shape for us to give to get us the pointy of the flower. I do not know how this is going to go so I'm hoping it turns out okay. I also have the slip solution from Uhuhu so that's the brand I'm using here. I also have a video of me using this poly gel and that was my first time ever using poly gel so if you want to have a good laugh then go ahead and watch that video. So that's what the red color looks like. Last time I used these I thought that they were really um, hard to work with so I'm going to see if this time around it's a little easier hopefully all right so i'm going to use the small little spatula i have from aliexpress which is supposed to be like a gel polish mixer and i think if i scoop it out and then place it where i want it it might be and work a lot better i think but it's kind of just sticking yeah see this is why i don't like poly gel i just don't know how to work with it okay let's see if that works and hopefully we can smooth it out with some slip solution here Oh my goodness, I'm so glad I'm done with that because that was not fun to do. Um, poly gel is actually very difficult to work with and I'm not a fan of it, but I got this far so I'm going to continue doing the rest and for the little leaves, I'm just going to use this green poly gel, I guess. That's kind of a bright green. Ooh, I don't know what I want to do, but okay, let's hold up. I'm gonna hold off on the green right now and I'm gonna go ahead and do the other hand and I just wanted to show you this little rhythm I had going so I just take the littlest amount. I think the big first mistake I was doing was I was grabbing way too much poly gel. As you can see, these two are a lot more bigger. And then I'm just going to then drop it where I want it. And then I'm going to take my brush. Now this is an acrylic nail art 3D brush, so it houses a lot of liquid in it. And I found that because when I keep dipping it in, it's just making it a lot more runnier, which is not good in this case, which I'm doing, where I'm trying to do 3D nail art with this. And as you can see, I'm just kind of molding it to where I need it. Then I flatten it out and I kind of just kind of grab the edges and make them pointy. All right, and as you can see that the second nail turned out so much better than this first janky nail, but that's okay. Hopefully we, add, we can add some glitter and make it look a little nice and pretty, but it's coming out to be a lot more, I guess, brighter than I wanted, so I don't think I'm gonna go in with this green because it's like a true, like, lime-ish green and this is like the only green like I said I have so I might just draw the petals with some nail polish so just for some contrast I'm just gonna add some green and just some green gel polish and this is green with Envy from Magpie <laughs> And just to make it a little bit more festive, I'm just going to add some glitter. I'm just going to take like that same dotting brush and put some glitter into the petals. Just trying to really bring it to life and add that little bit of sparkle. And also because a lot of them, a lot of these petals don't have like the divots I wanted. Um, 
So this is just going to add some highlights to the high parts of the petals or at least what's supposed to be the high parts of the petal. All right, so the inspo picture that I'm trying to recreate had enough room to put some snowflakes and all of that, but I really don't think I'm gonna have room. Okay, and the last nail right here, which is a thumb, is a sweater nail. Alright everyone and that is all for this video. If you did enjoy it, do not forget to give it a thumbs up and also do not forget to subscribe while you are at it. I will be posting a nail related video every single day up until Christmas so be sure to subscribe and also turn on the post notification bell so you do not miss out on any of the videos and I shall see you all in my next one. Bye!